Hello and welcome back to Call to Camera, in which we show you in front of works of art that have given you sustenance in isolation. Today it's sculpture and architecture. Another category that actually I wasn't really expecting, it took me by surprise, was sculpture, three-dimensional objects. Why shouldn't you be living with that type of 3D art in isolation or particularly cherishing it? This incidentally is something that we bought in a sort of antique garden centre about 10 or 12 years ago. I really adore her. I, I think it's reconstituted stone, but the moss and time is taking over. She's lost a few fingers. Anyway, some of the three-dimensional works of art that we're about to see that you're with are rather more edgy than this. of you like living with architectural views or views of cities and towns and it's a long tradition you're part of as well probably the greatest moments well certainly to my mind were Venice in the 18th century with the exquisite works of Antonio Canaletto who captured the chiseled clarity of the architecture as well as understanding superbly the Venetian light he also painted in London but what is interesting is although they are walls within walls, you too like your architecture. 